Hey guys, I am back with another video and today it's all about the lips. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, today I'm gonna to talk about lip masks, lip balms, lip glosses, just lip products galore. And I've never really told you all, but lip balms and lip scrubs and masks and all that good stuff, that is like my guilty pleasure. I, if I could, I would try them all. So in this video, I'm just gonna talk about some that I've tried and my thoughts on them. I don't wanna hold you all too long. I will have timestamps below just in case you want to skip around to whichever one you're interested in if you are interested in any of the ones that I talk about. So anyway, I'm gonna talk about the things that I have in no particular order. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab as I go and talk but I am gonna start with my favorite one and I recently mentioned it and this is the smoothie balm let's put on the glasses all right had to put my glasses on all right so I'm gonna start off with my absolute favorite one and this is a lip smoothie vitamin C plus peptide lip balm and this is by pharmacy this is it right here and I've used this in a lot of my videos it's cruelty free and clean as Sephora if that's something that means a lot to you it's very hydrating and it's very plumping on the lips and did I say or did I mention mentioned that it smells so divine on Sephora it says that it's for all skin types and it does say that it's supposed to help with wrinkles and even skin tone and stuff like that and that's due uh, largely in part to the peptides that are in it but ooh, this stuff is so it, and then you get a really good shine do you see how shiny that is and when I apply it I just kind of load up on it I love it it is so good I need to try some of the other scents that they have out there because this one is so divine honey honey vanilla you all know I'm a vanilla fan anything that's vanilla hey I'm gravitating to it but the only thing that I have to say that I don't like about this is the packaging you know I don't really like to carry it in my purse because if I'm out and about and you know if I want to just reapply I can't because my hands are grimy and even if I do use hand sanitizer I, I'm just like okay you know my hands still are not clean enough to dip in to the product so pharmacy hey if you're out there change the packaging <laughs> anyway moving on all right so next up I got this little baby right here and this is a silky balm this is a slick solved by topicals and I already got a little bit swatched right there I'm not so sure if you can see that, but it's super glossy if that's like your thing. This one is vegan and cruelty free if that's something that's important to you. Now this one has hyaluronic acid, it's got um, ceramides in it. It's also got rice bran wax and glycerin. So this one is boasting a little bit more. So if you're one that wants to like get a lip balm for your lip that's, that's heavy on the skin loving ingredients, this would definitely be definitely be one now even though it is glossy like uh, this uh, bomb excuse me but like this uh, smoothie over here it's not as slippery as this one this one is just a wee bit sticky so that's just kind of a warning there but it does a really good job of making the lips uh, soft and hydrated and of course you know it's got all those uh, call outs like parabens and all that other trash that we don't want in it I do like the um, the way that it's made it's kind of it's it's made like a little lip kind of has a little dip and a curvature so that's really good and I have to just say I'm really happy that they put quite a few ingredients in it that you know are gonna help your lips especially if you're gonna be wearing it day after day and a lot of times people like me I like to have on something on my lips all the time there's nothing in no time that I can really think of that you're gonna look at me and catch something not on my lips all right so this balm is by herbivore and this is a long name this is a dream jelly vegan multi oil lip balm for hydration and plumping now mm, uh, when it says oil this is more of a more of a balm I feel as though they probably should have 
kept the oil out. So this is one that's vegan as well. It's clean at Sephora. It's going to plump the lips as well as hydrate the lips. Now, this one is for extremely dry lips. So if you're out there and you're suffering from those really cracked, cracked lips, I would say this is the one you need to go with. So this one's got a lot of good stuff in it too. It's got natural oils, it's got shea butter, as well as vegan wax. So I'd have to, you know, warn you if you are interested in this one. Initially, when I first bought it, when I would use it, it did kind of feel like little granul granules or little, I don't want to say beads, but um, I don't know how to describe it. But as I began to use the product, I no longer felt it. I do like to use this product at night because it is so thick. This is one that is going to last, you know, if you're using something that is a little bit more glossy or slippery or whatever, you know, as soon as you lay down over on the pillow, if you touch your face it's probably going to wipe off but this one is so thick that it will definitely stay on a little bit longer and just kind of penetrate the lips a little bit better just remember that you know if you do decide to get it i would say if you can test it out at sephora or i don't think ulta sells this but go ahead and test it out and if you do buy it and you feel it um you know just be aware that it will go away or at least the, the one that i had go uh went away but i feel as though the benefit just kind of outweighed that little um I, I don't know what it is that that's in it but either way i really do like it for overnight lip mask and i have to say i don't really use this one in the daytime and largely in part because it doesn't have i like a little bit of a gloss when i'm you know walking around in the day you know with the lips and things like that i think it looks a little bit better but either way this is definitely one on the list that i do like all right so the next product that i have is by milk makeup let me read the name. This is the Kush Hydrating Sheer Lip Oil. And this is halfway gone. As you can see, uh, it's green. And we know that why it's green. <laughs> This is another one that's clean at Sephora. It's vegan, it is made without parabens, and it is very hydrating. It does have a high shine, but the, the deal with this one, I feel as though I have to keep reapplying for it to, you know, just for it to, you know, I guess how do I how do I say it to achieve that maximum amount of shine I feel like it doesn't last that long now it does have several oils in it and you guessed it it does have hemp seed oil it's got some other oils I'll put them somewhere on the screen but this one also claims to make your lips look a little bit fuller I didn't really get that memo I do like all of the oils that are actually in this so if that's something that you're looking for I would say to definitely check this one out this one is you know topping off at $26 so for me that's a little bit of a you know a negative I don't know that I would repurchase it say over um, uh, the topicals or the jelly but you know it is what it is all right so I have another oil and this is by Jisoo now if I'm mispronouncing that please let me know down in the comments now let me read the name this is the honey infused hydrating lip oil now this one is very like as far as the shine and keeping the shine without having to reapply it every you know I guess 20 to 30 minutes it does a better job than the milk makeup and that's always a positive now this one does come in more at this one this one uh, tops in at $28 which to me that that's a hefty price but if it's working good then I can see a little bit of a splurge this is another one that's clean at Sephora as well as cruelty free it does have hyaluronic acid as well as some other skin loving ingredients in it and you can really tell when you wear this one uh, my lips tend to feel a little bit different I don't know if it's the types of oil that they use in this one versus the milk makeup but you really are going to feel a difference after you wear this particular oil and if I'm not mistaken one of the ingredients is a humectant and humectants uh, they they're gonna lock in moisture so that's probably why you know my lips feel a little bit better after wearing this one and then again it just could be due to all of the oils that they have 
in it. And the oils, if I'm not mistaken, also have antioxidants that, you know, with anything, if you put a, if you use any type of ingredient that has antioxidants in it, be it on your face, your body, your lips, your hair, uh, you're, you're just going to feel a difference, especially again, if you're using it repetitively several times a day, every day, it's going to feel different. And I can understand that hefty price tag on this one. All right. So next up, I have a lip balm from Fenty Beauty and let me just read it off. This is the Fenty Skin Luxe Balm Ultra Hydrating Cherry Lip Balm. Now, I can remember when this first came out, this was like, this was at Sephora, and, but it's no longer at Sephora. I don't even think Fenty sells this on her website anymore. It may be on her website, but you see it now at Kohl's, Walmart, eBay and I forgot the other places. I, I'm, I'm not sure if she if she sells it on her website still. I have to ch uh, check and see. But a lot of people were complaining that for this little bitty thing, it's too much. I think it was eighteen dollars. You know, yada 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 yada. But there are she packed this baby with a lot of uh, good ingredients. One of them is an extract from Barbados and isn't that where she's from? So, you know, I, I, I just don't, I didn't get the memo. Now, when you apply this, you, you're, you're not getting anything special. It just looks like a regular lip balm. But if you're trying to nurse your lips back to health and get them where they're supposed to be, you know, soft, supple, kissable all that good stuff this is definitely one to try especially if you can catch it on sale now even though sephora doesn't have it there are a lot of places that do sell this and they're not selling it like at a discounted price which is interesting but i think probably why it left sephora is that a lot of people were just complaining on the size and it it is small okay i mean but that's what a chapstick is it's no different from any other chapstick the only thing is you can actually see how much product you're getting but when you look at what all she put in there you know you can really appreciate it and you can tell you know when you apply it so you know it's neither here nor there if you see it and you see it at a good price i would definitely say to check it out but wherever you get it from if you do, this, do decide to get it make sure that you can return it just in case you don't like it all right so next up i have a drugstore um, bomb this is by dr bronner's this is the peppermint organic bomb now this one has uh peppermint oil it's got jojoba oil and it's also got avocado oil and i think it's another i think i'm missing something else and this one is another classic traditional lip balm but this one is made from organic beeswax so if you're into organic products uh, uh skincare products lip products hair products things like that anything organic definitely pick this one i want i would like to say that this one's in the same family as the fenty balm but it's just not even though it's organic um it's just not it is a balm you're just not getting as many you know goodies <laughs> as you are in the Fenty uh, skin lip balm but this one is still good especially if you like that peppermint minty type of situations going on on your lip some people can handle it others not so much but if that's your jam definitely try the peppermint I want to say that they have others I'm not sure but I think they do but if you ever run across it in your drugstore I would definitely say it's a good buy I think it's like five or six dollars something like that maybe a little bit more okay okay last up I have a gloss that is by NYX and I know you're like girl that's not a gloss but hold on just wait this is the shine loud high shine lip color so this is the one where you get the gloss on one side and you get the color on the other we're gonna talk about the gloss because I say the best for last <laughs> <laughs> if you are just wanting gloss, if you want a high shine, if that's all you want, this is the girl. It doesn't matter what's over here. If you do wear color, you could just pick your favorite color because they come in about a zillion colors. Or you could just pick a nude or something like that. Or you can just not use it and just use the clear because it's strictly clear. Now this one's got a lot of uh, good ingredients in it, but the clear is just they used a vitamin E derivative, okay? So it's better than nothing, right? But this, if you use this gloss, it's going to stay glossy. 
it's gonna stay all day <laughs> period 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 when i say it's gonna stay glossy all day so out of all everything this is a straight up gloss you know most of the other stuff that i talked about are bombs and lip masks and all that other good stuff which is fine but if you if you're looking for the gloss that's gonna stay glossy all day this is your girl you definitely have to check it out and i've seen them these currently run for 12 dollars, and i've seen ulta run them on sale from time to time and when they do they typically put them on sale for um 50 off or if you catch them or you want to buy it before a sale you could use that three dollar what is it three dollars fifty cent coupon that ulta has you could use that or you could sign up for their mailing uh list on you know the internet and get a couple of bucks off but anyway with all that said that's it those are all of the products that i wanted to share with you let me know down in the comments what do you do to keep your lips soft and supple and kissable let me know i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches